So what is going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, welcome back to some more custom zombies and today we have a map that's around about 6 months old or so but it's a very very epic map and this is called Overrun and this looks like I'm playing Black Ops 1, look at the graphics, look at the way my pistol looks, my characters, everything about this just oozes Black Ops 1, I don't know how this has been done, it has been done and it looks amazing. And um, you may have seen this around a little bit, but I'm just going to have a bit of fun because I never actually played this map. I didn't play this version. This is the Black Ops 1 mod, uh, which makes it look very Black Ops 1Z. And it's just it's just incredibly epic. And we're going to go along for the ride, the little journey. So I hope you guys are strapped in for the ride and sat down and comfy. And we're going to get into this. But if you missed my uh, other uploads, um, I've uploaded Family Guy um, with Liam for the winter. So make sure you check that out. And in that... Uh, Liam said, um, everyone put in the comments, John is a chicken nugget. We got like over 500 comments specifically of people saying John is a chicken nugget. So thank you for everyone for calling me a chicken nugget. I really, uh, don't know, do I appreciate it? I'm not too sure if I do. It's, uh, it's funny nonetheless. Uh, I, I appreciate all the comments and the fact that you guys are so engaged with calling me a chicken nugget. But in this, um, co leave a comment saying Liam is a salty potato. Just say that. Um... Obviously, he's not in this recording, but uh, he'll definitely see these comments. So make sure you do that, as it will make me laugh, and it will make him sort of wonder what the heck's going on. But that's what we want, because that's what Liam's about. Right. So we open up in this, and we've got loads and loads of detail, loads of nice stuff. Now, here, we're going to get ourselves the MPL. I don't know if we can afford it. Oh, man. 110 off. Come on. Give me the good stuff. Wow, we made a crawl on round two. What are the chances of that? That never happens. Right, here we go. Let's get ourselves the MPL. All sorted. And this room's, like, kind of neat. It's, like, this map's very, very intense. It's very, like, kind of tight. And uh, you've got to be on your the tips of your toes. Now, here we have a key. Hmm, what could this key be for? I'm not too sure. But we're going to hold this key and uh, keep it because I'm sure it'll come in handy very, very soon. Right, let's pick up the insta-kill. And we're just going to chill in this room for a little bit. I wouldn't mind a max ammo, that would be pretty cool. Alright, take these out. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Do let me know down below in the comment section how you're doing. How are you doing? And um, it'll be great because I read all the comments on my videos. And uh, I'd love to know what you guys are getting up to, what you guys are doing. And we're going to be going over a few kind of dark topics. Some stuff which... Um, I mean, I don't really bring up too often. Like, this is the discussion I had with one of my, uh, with two of my friends, where we were talking about like, um, it's a very, very dark subject. But death, like, it's horrible, isn't it? And like, a lot of people um, will kind of like when they die, they'll donate their like organs, so science they can be used for science and research stuff like that. But also if you know, for people that need like a transplant, they can then they have the organs to do so. But I find it very, very kind of weird and, and kind of like I don't, I don't want my body to be like that. Like, cause like it's weird. Life is so sacred and it's so quick, but like it's so weird. Like behind the skin and stuff, we are very, very. Like we're just like we're just skin, we're just skin and bones. It's so weird. Like it's so weird, and that the thought of you, like I'm not saying specifically you, but like just the thought of like when you die, someone just has your body right there and then, and they're just opening it and just messing about and r literally ripping it off limb by limb to have specific bits donated to people. I feel like I just feel so uneasy, and just I don't like the sound of that. It's so it's a very very weird topic, but like here's a very very good thing and if anyone knows what really goes on with this uh, Do let me know But like you can get transplants for kidneys and lungs and stuff what happens with a brain transplant because your brain is kind of like You that's like your conscience your thoughts your memories Like the way you act is all by your brain and if you had a brain transplant You wouldn't be that same person would you you really wouldn't You'd be completely different. I don't even know if you remember. You wouldn't. Well, of course you wouldn't remember anything. But you wouldn't know anything. It's so weird to think that. So, yeah. Just let that sit for a minute. 
because it is quite weird. Now, the key that we have is actually used. Oh, there we go. Max ammo. Sweet. Don't want to get whacked by the zombies because that is never, never what you want. And this is a very great place to just stay. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Really? I'm done. I'm done. Like, you know, you know, you can be kind of cheeky with that. You can kind of, you know, sit there for a little bit and just wait until it gets a bit wild. But that got very, very heated very, very quick. And we got down like that, which is mad. But like, with this map, as much as I love being able to just go into a map and just finish it, this is one of those maps where you have to be very, very slow. You've got to take it easy. So this little patch here, uh, like I said, there's a key port here. Stick your key there. I, I dropped the key. I dropped the key, so I need to go back and get it. God damn it, this might be a boss round. It is. So what I want to do with this boss round is just go very, very slow. Um, but what is good is... Well, crap. Um... With this, we've got Nova Gas Crawlers, which is so weird to see. But um, with this, if you don't let any of them explode near you, like kind of the gas kind of explodes on you, then you will get yourself a free perk at the end. This is why I'm being very, very cautious and kind of doing laps of the, um, of the map. So quiet literally no sound there's loads that spawn like there really should not be this many for uh solo don't know why there is it doesn't matter if they hit you or swipe you or whatever but if they explode and you're in the gas and it hurts you that's not good you can see them literally spawning out in the middle of nowhere i'm gonna have to buy an mp40 actually let me buy this because if i get a ma i will get a max ammo at the end i've still got the mpo ammo but this is very, very eerie and like stuff you don't, this is something you don't really see in World at War Zombies nowadays. Whoa, crap. That, li that one literally just spawned in front of me. Crikey. Jesus. But if you guys got any maps that you want to recommend me to play, uh, do let me know. That was kind of a bit of risky because it might be coming from both sides and they're not. I think this is the last of them. I just want to put my key in the thing. Come on. Oh, crap, man. Still loads of them. God damn. I mean, if there's any more coming down there, we need to wait for the gas to disappear before. But it's better to just do laps around so you get all of the kind of Nova Crawlers just walking in your vicinity. Well, how many more are there? There's an absolute ton. But we're going to just bump into this one. It's going to scare the crap out of me. We can hear like... Whoa. There we go. So there we go. We've got a max ammo and we've got ourselves a perk. So let's see what this perk is. And it's PhD, which is not bad. I'll take PhD. This is pretty good. So um, hopefully we can get a ray gun or something. Normally I don't like ray guns, but to speed up the whole process of uh, getting the easter egg and making sure that we stay alive and stuff um, this is going to be good and there's a few other guns in the mystery box which need PhD to be great but this is going to be crazy I'm going to pick myself up Jug on this round and uh, we'll go and show you what the easter egg has done and last time I was an absolute douche and didn't realise you have to activate something in order to do the step I was just trying to do the step doesn't really make sense, but you guys will understand. And I really, I don't really want them spawning down there like that. I'm going a little fast around here. But I don't want them spawning down. Like, see, this is when you're going a bit too quick. Oh, God. How are we going to get ourselves out of this one? Whoa! Whoa! Talk about epic. I freaking clutched that. Let's go. That was insane. And I still haven't put the key in the thing. So I definitely can't attempt the uh, Easter egg. And I thought those were the only four. But god damn, they're running down everywhere. If they if they punched me down, I would have been mad, bro. I would have been mad as hell. Right, let's get them there. Keep running, keep running. 
It's a very specific process to getting this down. But we put our key in again. Alright, so I think we got like all of them on the map now, which is great. I do want to get Jug, but I don't know if I'll have time. Will I? Yeah, your boy got time. Oh crap, does he? Does he? Uh, what's annoying is that um, there's only a four perk limit on this. Let's activate the soul generator. Come on, collect the souls already. So we're waiting for that box to appear. And then bam. We're getting souls. I don't think that's enough though. We need enough souls so that the box has like a weird molten lava glowing all the way through it. But these boxes don't need a lot of uh, souls luckily enough but nope nothing there so we're gonna have to do another lap wasn't enough why do you need so many dirt goddamn souls I don't know but what I think I should do is we should obviously try this strategy again just like you know staying here sticking back low killing some zombies but like taking it easy and then I'm gonna try and roll the box obviously get in get the zombies down so that there is enough so they won't spawn when I kill them. There won't be any more that spawn when I kill them. And it should fill up that soul box. Oh crap. I'm hopping down. And they're still spawning. This is this is my worst nightmare. I'm seriously not good at this strategy. Not at all. If I had like monkey bombs or something that would be really goddamn good. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. But I, I seriously need to just hang there and just kill them for ages and ages. Because then they will stop spawning like through this door and stuff. Uh, I don't know if grenades will help, help me at this point. Get some souls. There's still going to be some spawning. I'm being really, really cheeky. Oh, man. Why does this have to spawn now? Why does he have to spawn now? This isn't the last of them either. All right. Let's run through again. This is like a very, very slow map. You need to just take it slow. Otherwise, you are going to get down. It's because of just how this map's laid out. It's just... Oh, wow. It's got ourselves eight... Thousand point that gave us 2k points. That's incredible. All right, come on, you zone bitches. I really need like double tap or something. There we go. We heard that little quote from Richtof and say, "There's so much power here already. Need more, something like that." So that is the first one done. We are good to go. I'm gonna try and roll the box and get something good. Please. Matryoshka dolls, not bad. When I last played this, that was what I got out of the box first. I don't know if that's some sort of... Uh... Come on, quick. That's just some weird occurrence. And wow, that is absolutely atrocious. Let's buy some more ammo. We also have the electric barrier, which I think is really, really good. We need that. This makes my life a little easier. I don't have to waste ammo. And just sit here on this perch while they just come and spawn. Lovely jubbly. And after that, I'll explain the next step of the Easter egg. I obviously don't want to get too close. As long as going to be doing the runarounds. Also, remember, I said I was going to get something else. Whoa. Whoa, they take so many bullets. Jesus. Alright, so now we've got this going. We just need to... Keep a steady flow. Keep a steady flow. I hope you guys can stay in this flow with me. Let him run through there and screw it. Let's just get it. I would love speed, uh, speed color as well. Ooh, that's where I just heard like a a, 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 a switch almost. But this double tap is seriously packing a punch. Who needs pack a punch when you got this? Oh man, end of the round that quick. Oh god damn, I'm losing track of time here. So. If I quickly just run round here, we have a second box here. But we need to activate the auxiliary power first for that one. We won't we won't do anything yet, but it is quite cool what we have to do. So you're probably thinking like, 
What the heck is auxiliary power? That's kind of like a little bit of a um, a reference to ascension. Like, I don't know if anyone even remembers, but like, Maxes would be like, uh, auxiliary power activated. When you like, get the rocket going and stuff. When you first turn the power on. This could actually be quite crazy, so I'm going to turn the electricity on. So, so I have a little bit of breathing room and I can talk a little bit, my gosh. But yeah, this is actually quite tough to do on solo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave it, boys. Leave it. God. I feel this is quite bad having uh, these zombies spawn while while the, the electric trap's still going. It's like, boys, chill. Chill, my boys. Boys, boys. I'm thinking that electric trap took out quite a bit. Oh, screw it. Let's just chuck them. They make crawlers, they make crawlers. If they don't, they don't. Are you serious? They didn't. Right, another round of this. I am so bad, guys. I am so bad at this. I don't even have a great secondary weapon. I mean, like, come on. At least we got um, insta-kill here to help us out. This will help us out a lot. I'm going to wait until the zombies are literally running at me. I pick this up. There we go. And the kniving's great! The kniving is actually good in this for once. But we don't want them... If they spawn behind in that little alleyway, they're obviously going to run all the way around. So we just want to stay here for as long as physically possible. And this would be absolutely perfect for the next step. Which is um, another soul box we need to fill up. So I'm going to try and get monkey bombs or something. Because that will really help with just attracting them all towards uh, the, the soul box. And I'm feeling like I'm going to start running. Yeah. Start running. But I really need to try and make a crawler. So let's just do that. Hey, none are spawning through here. My life is great. I don't know if we made any. We did. Brilliant. If we didn't. Ah, shits. But we got so much time right now. Like, so much stuff that we could do that we aren't doing right now. Because I'm just taking ages to do stuff. I'm like a girl with their makeup. I'm just taking really, a really, really, really long time to do something so simple. Right, good. There are no more zombies running about, so we must have a crawler. Where are you, oh crawler? Yeah, baby, we got two. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you this. And I'm actually glad I got a sniper. We don't need a sniper for this bit, but it does make it great. So if we come outside, uh, you'll notice around the map that these were not on before. These little flashlights. We need to shoot them out. So Don't know if that worked. Don't even think a sniper will work. There we go. It turns it off. Um, we've got one here. Might use up all my MP40 ammo to do this. This one's quite tricky. You need to get this in the right angle. There we go. That's out. And then also this one. And there we go. Now we need to go all the way back round. And there will be a new soul box uh, by the stairs where this next area is. I'm pretty sure the next round will be a boss, uh, a Nova Crawler round. If it isn't, I'm going to be very, very surprised. I'm trying to remember, where is the mystery box? It's up here. My mind is so, so bad <laughs> lately. But if we go here... We can see it says watch your step and then rather than auxiliary it will say hold F to activate soul generator and then that will come up. But also, also up here we have PhD which I will want to get. Some oh we already got it. I'm such an idiot. We got the sickle from Black Ops 1, Call of the Dead which is incredible. Then here we have the uh, pack a punch as well. So you're probably thinking how the heck do we get to that? So let me go ahead and show you. Now this map is really, really cool. Like this map is really underrated. I rate this. I rate 8 out of 8, mate. It's fucking sick, like. We had a bit of a rough start, rough uh, goes at the start, but we are definitely on our way now. So if we come over here to this panel, it's like, it shows a bunch of weird stuff. Like, you see the Pack-a-Punch, you see like a map. So it's a, now it says press F to open the Pack-a-Punch. So there we go. Now the Pack-a-Punch is on and good. You're probably wondering what this is, and this is the Bible ending once we've done the Easter egg. And the Bible ending is quite expensive, so that's going to be a little bit of a grind fest. I personally don't really enjoy going for Bible endings too much. And uh, some of you guys were a little annoyed that I cut out some of the Purple Dimension Bible ending stuff. But the fact I wasn't grinding the points and also 
Um, yeah, I wasn't grinding the points. I was literally just sitting there doing nothing, and that's never fun. Oh, monkeys! Yes! That's exactly what we want. I'm confused. Am I Rick Toffin or am I Dempsey? Oh, I've got myself the Zap Guns. Oh my god. Zap Gun slash Wave Gun from Moon. This thing is incredible. Definitely need to get a better second, uh, better weapon now. Get rid of my MP40. What am I going to get? <gasps> no way. We get the freaking Scavenger. So I've got like hardly any way of gaining points. But we have an absolutely incredible set of guns here. Oh my god. If you're hyped that we've got Scavenger and the Wave Gun in Black Ops 1. Not even Black Ops 1. World at War Zombies. Definitely hit that like button. This is what you call hype. This is incredibly hype, my friends. Incredible. I can use the scavenger and blast out the opponent. It's going to be so sick. Right. Is it crawlers? Yeah, of course it is. Jesus. They waste no time in spawning. Like, literally no time. So I'm going to just run around the map a little bit. Doesn't matter if they hit me. You can touch my legs. You can fiddle with my toes. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not one of those that love toes, but... You can do that and uh, I'll be okay with it because as long as I get my free perk at the end from not taking the gas, I am good. Right. So now we've done one little lap. They should be making their way around. But as we kill them, they do respawn just like that. But be so damn careful. <gasps> oh, okay. Making our way downtown. See, even I think... At like that distance here that is enough for them to you know do some batshit crazy stuff but the spawning on these crawlers are pretty much like dead on what you want they're so precise like you kill one and one will spawn like whoa right there see I'm, t I'm telling you it is crazy why are my wave why are my zap guns not doing anything come on this is honestly epic that Treyarch needs to bring back some of these like classic weapons, like the Zap Gun. Needs to bring back the Baby Maker. That gun's incredible. Oh my God! Whoa, so many! Jesus! Can I wave gun them all? We can definitely hear them. The death animation that you're used to is in this as well, but obviously I don't really have. I'm not in the greatest position. To show you. Whoa, 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 whoa. More spawning. Can I take them out? Actually, no, I don't want to risk it. Because I don't want to get too close. We'll zap that one. Is that that one? Any more want to spawn around me and scare the absolute crap out of me? Because they're doing it. They're doing a great job at the moment. Oh, crap. There we go, I just wrecked loads of them. And this wave gun is beautiful. Like, if there was a sort of training bit like No Man's Land, or just somewhere like in Moon where we can just chill out. Whoa! Chill out and just kill a bunch of them. Wow, that's 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 a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. Come on, make my day. Well, I only killed like two or one. That's crazy. Come on, there's got to be like one more left. This is absolutely absurd. I'm sure you guys are like, why is this taking so goddamn long? That was a dud shot, really? Alright, come on. I ain't scared of none. I ain't scared of goddamn none. But yeah, like, obviously this map's like six months old, so I'm not going to tell the map maker, oh, you should fix your, like, the amount that you have on here, because it's absolutely absurd. Because this is quite an old map now, but... Yeah, this is really too much. But I think you know when it's the last one because uh, he's just crawling about. Here we go. Oh, wow. So that... He wasn't crawling about like the last one. The last one actually looked like a physical crawler zombie. There we go. We've got ourselves dead shot, which is absolutely useless. Thank you for giving me one of the worst perks ever. Especially this is literally recreated in Black Ops 1 because... There is, like, no laser. Did that get no one? I'm so shocked. Maybe it's because I just left it for too long. Did we just get a double there? Sick. Alright, so I need to 
Oh crap, I don't know if getting a nuke was the best thing there. Well, well those those went in, so I guess that's good. So the rest of the zombies that are spawning, I'm going to train them up. Be all juicy. Throw a monkey bomb. Throw a monkey bomb near the soul box and then use a scavenger for good measure and they will all be dead. But like, these are pretty much one hit kills, definitely. So if any get in, uh, in my way that are horrible... And just very, very scary. I can just shoot them out of my way. Like that one. I wasn't in too much of a... In too much danger there. But I just need to make sure that we got a lot chasing us. God damn, why are they... I'm, I'm going around the map too fast, I think. That's my problem. Uh, but this definitely should be enough zombies here. Alright, let's bring you fellas in. You're going to have a bumpy ride. They need the scavenger in more maps. Come on. Try up. Put it in Black Ops 1 or 2. Black Ops 1 or 2? Put it in Black Ops 3 if that if, if, that, if that is a thing. Alright, gather you all in. And then... Really? Still more zombies about? Is that enough for it? Yes, it was. Boom. There we go. That's the second one done. Oh, man. I told you. This is crazy. All right. So now after this, we've got two more kind of steps to do. And then we are done. I am pretty sure. So this is going to be pretty exciting stuff. So um, we don't really need any zombies in the round. So let's activate the electric trap just to give myself a little bit of breathing room. If there's too many zombies running through this electric barrier, like you saw, they don't die. Oh, man. There we go. Just chilling here. So, um, we'll, we'll, I'll show you what I'm on about um, when we get near to it. I have this weird fear that this trap's just going to turn off in the most annoying area. Oh, man. Why? Why when I hop down? Right, so let's run away, run away, run away. We basically need a crawler uh, to really make this efficient. Get away. Need a crawler, but these will help, definitely. God, that was, that was messy. The heck happened there? If I knew, I'd tell you, but I don't know. Alright, so I'm trying to get rid of all the zombies in the round. And try and get ourselves a crawler. Because that will be most most efficient, most lovely. If you guys have played this and managed to complete this Easter egg um, in like a record number of rounds, do let me know. As that will be really, really interesting to know. I feel like I'm on par to finish it in a decent round. But definitely not a great one. Alright, so we've got a crawler. And I think this is the last set. Yep, this is the last set. So, let me explain. So, around the map, I've been a bunch of numbers, like six. And then as we go through, there will be, like, more scattered around. And uh, I don't know if you guys have been very have been keen uh, eyes or not, but um, I'm pretty sure somewhere either in hit this room, there might be, but definitely uh, around the map. I think there's one. There's definitely somewhere. But anyway... To, to make things easier for you, to make it more understandable, you see this little thing here. There's like, there's no numbers. So like, the heck? There's obviously, we've got to input some numbers somewhere. But if you go here, all of a sudden, you can you can increase the counters. So the numbers are actually 632. So we need to hit this six times. So I'm actually going to press the keyboard for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then this one, we need to press three times. So one, two, three. And then this one twice. One, two. And as you heard, the he 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 he. We added it on there. And now we have the last soul box right here, which is epic. And there we go. So, what we need to do now is to gather up our zombies.